Welcome back. So, found this little place yesterday. Let me adjust the light for you. <coughs> found this little place yesterday. Cows walking about. It's insane, absolutely insane. And uh, I was waiting for an opportunity for the uh, sun to come out. Uh, it's absolutely dreadful to rain here today. Um, but because of my way at the end of the week, I've got to get some of these uh, videos done. And I, I was just setting up indoors to get it all recorded. The rain stopped, grabbed my coat, grabbed my beanie hat, made my way outside. What a view, eh? What a view. How's the lighting on that? Yeah, it seems pretty good. So, this is why I found this uh, wooded area, because of that lake behind me. And uh, it's a big focus of mine in my spare time, um, carp fishing. Um, and it's actually not about the, the carp as such. I love them, absolutely love them. But it's the tranquility uh, and the peace of mind um, that that gives me uh, when I'm when I'm not working, when I'm not focusing on the uh, on the spirit world, this gives my mind uh, a chance to escape. The only downside is is the road noise that you can hear right over the back. Um, but you know, is what it is. So anyway, the reason for recording today is focus. <clears throat> what is your focus? how to keep focused, you know, stay on the right pathway. Um, because although it can be a wonderful thing, it can also be the thing that trips you up or lets you down. My focus very early on was about the, the, the purity, you know, the, the way my journey has gone has been different, I suppose, from from many others, I discovered very early on the, the rituals which I have brought to the uh, the channel, uh, and how I would maybe uh, fight against the system. You know, just like this doesn't make sense, and and then breaking it down. Uh, and my focus in the very early stages uh, was literature by Morris Barbonell and Estelle Roberts. Absolutely loved everything they wrote about. Um, didn't have an opinion at that time. It was so early on in my in my development. Um, I was just absorbing the information very slowly over time. There are things now that I kind of disagree with, um, but for the time when they were wrote and uh, for the uh, the culture and the the age that they lived in, I fully understand why they had that viewpoint. But my focus very early on was about the mediumship of uh, Estelle Roberts um, and the, just the sheer admiration of her um, standing on the platform at the Royal Albert Hall uh, 26 times to a sellout audience demonstrating for 45 minutes her mediumship. And that just become like a, an ambition, uh, a dream come true as such, you know. That's my focus, that's where I want to get to. I want to do that the way she did that and it would just be amazing. So I knew very early on that I would have to uh, make my focus about evidence, about factual information. Uh, there was a lot of airy fairy stuff kicking around at the time and I didn't want to fall into that bracket so I wanted I wanted to be known for evidence, being able to get real pinpoint accurate uh, information from the communicator and deliver it. And the whole purpose, the whole focus there was about bringing uh, a standard in, uh, showing the intelligence of the spirit world, but actually leaving the client with no doubt whatsoever. That was the focus, no doubt. Leave them with no doubt whatsoever that there is a spirit world.
then I do what most of us done. I fell into the trap of uh, circles, of residentials, and you know, looking for uh, tutors and teachers that could give me um, uh, more depth to uh, my communication. And then you're, you're caught up in like this conveyor belt of uh, wanting to be like someone else. You want to do what they can do and how can they achieve that but I can't get near it and all that kind of stuff. You get caught up in it. Uh, so your focus kind of changes. Your focus isn't about bringing no doubt anymore. You're, you're, you're trying to be good. So that's got to be an egotistical point of view. I want to be good, I want to get good at this, and I want to da 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 da. Uh, and I'd lost my focus on bringing no doubt, bringing truth and um, uh, clarity from a communicator to a loved one that sits in front of me uh, to, to, to ease the grief or, or to bring understanding that their loved one is still very, very active just in a different place now. Well, the rain's getting really heavy now, perched under a tree, trying to get this recording finished. <laughs> Anyway, I lost my way for a little while, you know, like I got caught up in like, like the circuit of it all. Going round, round the different schools and different tutors and I've worked with so and so and all that kind of stuff. And I kind of lost my way and it took me, uh, took me a while to sort of uh, break away from the, from the circuit as such to reevaluate, get my focus back, you know. And it was at that point, I think, when I got my focus back, that um, that I started to really dial in my my own mediumship in my own way, in this no nonsense kind of no ritual approach. Try and give the spirit world as much of my mind as I possibly can, uh, and that kind of changed me as a person. I stopped getting involved in the games. I stopped entertaining it. I stopped giving it any kind of energy. And, and what I mean by that is that, take for uh, t today for it for an example. I'm on I'm on YouTube, like keyword uh, researching for for mediumship. How do I title this next video, and and what do I do? Um, and maybe you've noticed, maybe you haven't. Um, but I only found it this morning that there are um, a handful of mediums out there that are, uh, are getting on YouTube also. Um, and I release a video and then they release one uh, very shortly after my release uh, with, with the same kind of title uh, and talking about the same kind of thing but from their own perspective, you know, which is fine. I used to be bothered by that. I used to feed that energy and get annoyed by it because that become my focus. Whereas now as I, I kind of take it as a compliment that they can't think of their own ideas and they're having to watch me or, 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 or emulate me in some way um, be, because of whatever reason. Again, the variables are huge there. My focus is maintained. My focus is about giving the spirit world that true voice. And I say things on here that annoy people and upset people. Um, but the fact remains, it's that purity. I'm trying to give the intelligence, the, uh, the, the credit they deserve. Um, and also the simplicity of it, trying to get the simplicity across for what mediumship is. We are the problem, the instrument is the problem, the dilution of the mind, where is your focus? And that is what this video is about. Absolutely love this place. Really, really love it. Um, there you go, that lighting should be a little bit better now. So, I think you understand where I'm going with it, you know, like, take your own mediumship, for example. If you focus so much on getting a name, then that becomes your every thought. It becomes everything. Um, and you kind of forget why you're, you were doing it. You're trying to be good. You're trying to... Um, 
you're trying to be recognised as good. And so that becomes the focus. And yet if you just dialed in your, your evidence and you dialed in the relationship you have with the spirit world, being recognised as good kind of comes with it because your whole focus has been your relationship. Your whole focus is about getting out of the way. Your whole focus has been blending so clean and so pure that what you speak can only be taken as evidence. It's, it's just so accurate that being good comes part of that. Being evidential becomes part of that because the focus is in the right area. I mean, again, you just look at social media in any kind of aspect. Don't know if that's a bit dark. Uh, in any kind of aspect right now, you, you look at um, uh, the Zoom classes. Now, other people are jumping on board with Zoom classes. You see the YouTube channel. Other people are focusing on YouTube because they're seeing me do it. They're doing dem after dem after dem because I do dem after dem after dem. Their focus has become the wrong focus. Um, never, ever, ever, ever make it about money. Never, never focus on how much you can earn or what you can achieve from this because what you're trying to get across... Hear that thunder? My God. What you're trying to focus on is, is removing any doubt. And because you're trying to remove any kind of doubt, everything else falls into place. Everything else comes with it. If you're too focused on another medium and what that other person is doing, then that takes away a little bit of who you are and the profile that you're trying to build and the, the relationships that you're trying to uh, uh, gain now. So double check, what is your focus? What is your dream? Where are you trying to get to? And if you don't know, find out. Ask yourself, sit down and ask yourself, what is the focus? What is the end game here? Where are you trying to achieve? Where, where are you trying to get to? What is it you're trying to achieve? And your mediumship will change in an instant because the mind, because it is of the mind, as the channel has suggested throughout, it don't matter if you're sitting with world-renowned medium, blah, blah, blah. It don't matter because their techniques and their ways are for their mind and the way that they operate. So if there's someone that needs rituals and they need a particular moon phase and they need all that kind of stuff, then you're getting taught all that kind of stuff. Mine, a very simplistic way. It's not, I don't want another version of me out there. I'm sure you don't want another version of me out there. But what I'm trying to give you is like, remove the ritual, remove all of this because it's a state of being, it's a state of consciousness. And this is how it works for me, but the mechanic is this. I move my mind to here, and this ebbs and flows very freely for me. If it, if it flows very easily for me, then it can flow very easily for you. And now we've got a, a, a less dilution in the mind because the focus is in the right place. It's not about, oh, I did well today. It's not about that. And so many of us do that, you know, including me. I've done it myself. So, um, and, I, and I laugh because uh, it's, some of it's so cringe. Um, and you'll be out of cringe at your own stuff as well, if you're honest with yourself. If not, you'll just hit the thumbs down and switch the video off. But that's your problem, not mine. Also remember, it doesn't matter what circle you're in or what the people or the company you keep or who you share the platform with. This is completely irrelevant to the purpose, for the, for the overall cause of what it is that you're trying to achieve. And, and that's why I'm, I'm saying, you know, regain clarity, regain focus, what is it you want? No one cares. No one cares if you are sharing the stage with your idol. No one cares. Um, it's good for your ego, it's good for the, for the moment. Oh, there's a big branch here, sorry. But no one actually deep down cares about what stage you're on or who you're sharing it with. And uh, you can name drop all you like and you can do all that kind of stuff. But know that no one, no one cares about it. All they're focused on is can you remove the doubt? Can you bring forward a decent communication from their loved one in the spirit world? And that's, I think a lot of us get caught up in that. A lot of us um, forget why we do it, 
and we're trying to get to a certain point once i get there i'll i'll have made it once i do this i would be i will be recognized and in all honesty it only comes about when you stop caring about it when you stop putting all your focus and all your hopes into someone else maybe or a particular venue your focus should be the blending and being able to express it as freely as possible and I just know so many of you your focus will be on the one I got wrong how I couldn't get that right and I really struggled with that and the, and the energy weren't good becomes the focus so now you could be missing some wonderful bits of information or you could be you could just be missing that whole uh, energy thing, the whole package that mediumship is. You could be missing it because you were like, well, I messed the last one up, or I just can't get their passing. Oh, I don't know what their bloody name is. I'm just, oh, I'm so bad. You, you've been caught up in all of that and you may have just missed the perfect bit of mediumship. I can assure you, that if you do your mediumship properly, some facts and figures are not required. And if you get the blending right and you do it all correctly, the person will feel their loved ones there with a the medium. They will feel it. You won't have to try and prove yourself. They'll feel it. So, for the focus, the rain is so heavy now. I really need to get this camera gear inside. I'm perched under a tree. And my car's back that way. So I'm going to have to uh, pull the video uh, short, maybe although it's probably really long now. So to summarise, please, please, please stop worrying about what other people are doing. You know, it's while you're wondering what they're doing or what they're up to, they're making strides forward. They're, they're taking new directions why, why maybe you're playing catch up. And it's not really what you want to be doing. Mediumship is a spiritual journey one to remove the doubt that there is a, a once you're dead, you're dead. It's to give hope and to ease the grieving and show that there is something else beyond life. So life after life. It's to remove any kind of doubt there. If your focus becomes the blending, the relationships that you have shared with the spirit world for the, the length of your development and you're gonna continue on that journey, what comes with that is bountiful. It's the relationship's good, your personality will start to shine, you become the person that you were meant to be. You'll be a good demonstrator, people will see that you can get decent evidence and everything is very, very accurate. And the only focus there was you and your spirit world. So, for now, I'm gonna wrap that one up. Remember, if you don't know what your focus is, sit down, sit with a team. Ask yourself that very difficult question. What is the end game? What is it I wanna do? What is it I wanna achieve with this? And then maybe fo focus all your attention on that, not on what others are doing and how good or bad they are, and just you, better you. So I'm going to go, terrible, terrible storm, it's in for the week, I'm not sure if I'll get out again this week to record, I had that very quick gap, stole the opportunity, showed you the lake. So, I'll call it a day, yeah, and I will try and see you at the end of the week. Look after yourself, don't forget, comment, if you have a comment. Like or dislike, entirely up to you. Subscribe if you aren't already, and I'll see you all Friday.